Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to actually use the spinning crank connect app that directly pairs to our spin power commercial grade cranks to give you all kinds of great information. So whether you're an installer or a, a club fitness, uh, fitness director or an instructor, this app is very useful in keeping your crank arms up to date or getting information about say things like battery power or you can actually rename the crank arms, which I'll show you here in a second, so you can associate that crank arm number with the bike that that rider is on. Uh, if you're using leaderboard systems, this is a great way to uh, just keep track of your cranks and to do any firmware updates and a, a multitude of other things. You can get this app off of the Google Play app store for uh, any Android device, or you can go to the app store for an iOS mobile device. So let's go ahead and get started. So to connect the crank arm to your phone or mobile device, you need to be pedaling the bike that actually turns the crank arm on. And you're gonna go ahead and open the app. And the first thing you're gonna see is any crank arms that'll turned on. So this is, uh, this is connecting to any crank arms through Bluetooth. So in this case, there are two crank arms you can see. And in this case, I am on bike number or crank arm number 61765. This number is actually stamped on the side of the left crank arm. Uh, there's another crank arm close to me right now that is numbered 04. Uh, that's because we've actually numbered that number like it would be on another bike. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one, which I know is 61765. So you're going to select that. And the app is going to then say connecting. And it's going to take you to the main screen. Now in here, we've got a lot of great things. So this is the actual crank arm number. The battery power. You've got a serial number. That's that amp plus number. It's the same as the number at the top. Uh, a firmware, what version firmware you're running. And you've actually got a manual calibration button here. So there's a couple things I can do in this screen that are really nice. I can rename the crank arm. So instead of this crank arm coming up as 61765, I can rename it to anything I'd like. So I'm going to go ahead and hit rename. And you can see it's going to allow me to do that. I'm actually going to take this and say this is bike bike one. So as you can see, and I'm going to hit save. And that actually is now showing bike one at the top. So anytime I go to connect to this bike again, it is going to say bike one, uh, which is really nice. Now, if there is a firmware update, in this case, I'm running 1.8.0. If it needs to be brought up to date it will be blue and it'll say update right now it is fully updated and it does say up to date so i can't even hit that button so that's fine if we ever send you an email um, letting you know that there is a new update out you can go ahead and do this and that will turn blue and then you can just go ahead and hit the update button if you need to do a manual calibration this is what we call a zero offset if for some reason you're seeing very high or low numbers um, our crank arms do auto calibrate, but if you need to do a manual calibration, if you're an instructor in class and you're seeing somebody's bike is very high or you need to troubleshoot it, uh, we highly recommend you do a manual calibration. Down here at the bottom, it says calibrate and it'll let you know last time you did a manual calibration. Like I said, the cranks do auto cal, so they're calibrating every day. This is the actual time it was manually calibrated. So this was last calibrated November 29th, 2023. And I'm going to go ahead and do a manual calibration right now. So I'm going to go ahead and hit calibrate. Now I am pedaling the bike. Now the app is going to ask me to put the crank arm at either the 12 or 6 o'clock position. I recommend you put the left crank arm straight down and then you're going to take your foot off of that left crank arm. You do not want your foot on there because that'll throw the um, calibration off and it will actually sense the uh, crank will actually sense the weight of your foot on there and it won't do the calibration so I've got the crank arm straight down on the left side I'm gonna hit start and this takes only a few seconds so it's performing the zero offset calibration success if I need to go back I can 
back to the main screen if I need to do something else. So that is our Spin Power Crank Connect app that you can use to change multiple things or do a calibration or a firmware update or to see how much power life uh, you have left in the batteries. Now these batteries, the three AA batteries in our crank arms, they will go thousands of hours, uh, multiple years, but if you ever need to check on them or if a crank arm isn't connecting to the console, maybe the batteries have gone, this is a great way to troubleshoot that. So that's how you use the Spin Power Crank Connect app.